And welcome to Trade Secrets with Jacob Mackby, uh, brought to you by my favorite service company. Listen, if you like life hacks, if you like saving money, uh, if you like building up the value of your home, protecting your home, well, then this is the show for you. I'm Baron Wiley, and may I introduce to you the man, well, I'll tell you what, he's been serving all over the Texas Hill Country, all over Central South Texas for over 20 years, and he's the president and founder of my favorite service company. It's Jacob Mackby. How are you, my friend? Good, Baron. Good. Thank you. Thank you for the introduction, and I appreciate you uh, You have us on. Well, I'm not having you on. This is your show. <laughs> Thank you for having me on, you know? This will be a lot of fun. Yes, absolutely. We're going to be doing, hopefully, this for several years, and so this, we want to lay the foundation for what the show is going to be about. Um, but first of all, I want to say happy 4th of July weekend to you. Thank you. Thank God you. bless America. Yes, very much. And then thank you to all of our soldiers and, and those who serve this country to, uh, to protect us and give us the, 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 the freedom and the right to do these things right here. Mm. And, and so let's, let's just go ahead and put this out there. Uh, my favorite service company is an air conditioning and heating company, but we're mm -hmm. going to talk about everything. Yes. Right? Yes, absolutely. Yes, so I've been in the uh, in the air conditioning uh, trade uh, originally, but I've also uh, served and ran uh, companies serving in the electrical plumbing uh, trades as well. Awesome, awesome. Well, with it Fourth of July weekend, I know some part in the show we want to talk about our favorite things, and that includes grilling and barbecuing and all that good yes. stuff. Uh, but let's let's talk about again your story. Okay, all right. I understand you were you come from Lavernia. Yes, but now you're you're all over the Texas Hill Country. Sure, you're, you're blowing up. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, sir, we, we started, you know, serving in the San Antonio area. Uh, we've moved into the to the hill country. Uh, I love Bernie. Um, so I love Bernie I. Radio. Thank you very much. <laughs> Good call. Yeah. Um, we uh, we love the uh, the hill country as a whole. I've always enjoyed driving through it, uh, whether it's uh, working, uh, driving the service van, uh, a Sunday cruise with the, with the children, or uh, or on my motorcycle. Ooh. Um, and so uh, I enjoy serving everybody in the hill country and, and being in the area. So we serve from the Bernie area all the way back down to New Braunfels, uh, and then all the northern San Antonio area just as well, and and everything in between. Awesome. As you should, uh, which, is, <laughs> which sounds it sounds crazy now. Looking back at it, you know it's it's unheard of. Um, but yeah, I uh, I was making four twenty five an hour. We were working, you know, long, uh, hot, hard days, and um, you know it was a lot different from from other jobs I'd done. But I just really enjoyed it. I just really enjoyed the work. I really enjoyed the ability to go out there and and serve the customer, to fix things, to start off with something uh, broken and incomplete. And be able to to finish that project and and see the mechanical side of it done and working correct and well and also what that did for the customer their family oh. their home and, ser and serving them and providing that level of comfort and and putting that smile on their face so i really enjoyed the the work and and so i've i've just stuck with it um where'd you learn this work ethic from yeah well great question um unfortunately i lost my dad when i was i was young i was i was 12 uh when i lost when i lost my dad mm. but uh you know in the in the short time that i i had the guy uh he he, he taught me a, a few things that were very very important and common sense and, and common courtesy mm. uh are very very important and he he taught me to to apply those in all things that i did and so and so you know and working on air conditioners uh, obviously um, I applied the common sense side of things. Yeah. And uh, when working with my customers, uh, I applied the common courtesy side of things. And boy, it sounds simple, but it just works and it works well. Sounds like common sense to me. <laughs> Very cool, man. Yeah. Uh, now, talk about this though. When you started, did you start off alone or did you have a partner? No, so uh, when I very started off, obviously I was a helper. And in a few years, um, I worked through the through the trade and you know went to installer service technician uh -huh. worked into the office and me and two other guys seven dollars an hour now oh uh, yeah yeah i was i was i was darn near <laughs> double digits right you know if i could just get to that fifteen dollars yeah, sweet so, so uh, no but i uh, uh you know i had two friends and uh we uh, we talked and we decided that we wanted to to open another business we wanted to open our own business and uh and so that was in 2001 and in 2001 we uh we kicked off a business and we we, we really did well mm. um we we worked hard uh we served all of san antonio um you know basically central central texas area 70 plus mile radius around san antonio yeah and uh we did well and we applied a lot of the same things there and you know we grew the business to over 200 people um and employees uh, yes 200 employees yes wow and uh, and served a lot of customers and served them very very well. Sure. Um, but you know, in, in time, all things change, and uh, our relationships uh, grew. And in growing, yeah. um, 
we decided that it was time for me to go off and, and do my own thing. Uh, so they, they still run the business. They still do well. I'm, I'm proud of them. Um, and, and, you know, uh, wish them all the, the, the wealth and, and sure. happiness moving forward. But, uh, yeah, I, but, I decided to turn off and, 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 and do our own thing. Yeah, you went off and created something called My Favorite Service Company. Well, I want to talk about the name, uh, about that in a little while. Sure. Uh, but, but did this company already exist before? So that's a great question. And uh, the name did not exist. The name is new, but the business uh, I purchased from a good friend of mine. Uh, and he started in the business in, in 2003. He opened a business in 2003. Is he still helping you? Um, yes. Awesome. Yeah, he is. Uh, he, still, he still works with me on a daily basis and uh enjoy uh enjoy working with them still and he goes out and serves the customers right alongside with me um on a, on a regular basis still mm. but yeah we uh we we decided that uh he wanted to do more and he was unsure how to uh he turned to me knowing that i was i was you know how to 20 <laughs> <laughs> something years experience well i love systems and and mm. processes and i love i love to do things um in a very simplematic way but make them into something really, really big, you know? Mm. Um, and so, yeah, he turned to me and we decided that uh, I would take over his business. Uh, I purchased it from him and bought him in as a manager and we renamed and rebranded the company to my favorite service company. My favorite service company. Now I know this about you though, Jacob, and that would be, I think you invest in people more. I think you empower people more. Talk about how you do that and why you do that. Sure. Um, it, it, it's education is, is very important to me. Empowering employees is very important to me. So, you know, uh, whenever I whenever I've made the org chart for the business, for example, you know, this is just a few examples. Um, you know, the, the the individuals that answer the phones, some people would call them a, a customer service representative or something to that effect. And uh, I didn't like that. I wanted it to be much bigger because their job is so much bigger. You know, if, if, if you've ever made a phone call into anywhere and we're looking for some type of service, you, you know the differences between something really good and something not so good. And I believe the difference whenever you get the really good job from the customer, uh, for the customer, is when you empower the employee to do whatever they need to, however necessary, to make sure that they are successful in what they're calling in for. So that's why uh, whenever you call in and you talk to somebody at My Favorite Service Company, you're going to talk to a customer success manager. A manager. A customer success manager every single time you, you call in. Not a in. tech. Not a tech, but a customer success manager. Awesome. Yes. I, lo I love that model there, too. So wait a minute. So if you've got all these managers out there, who are you? <laughs> Well, uh, you know, I, I certainly will get out in the field and I will still run calls and still still get out there and put smiles on customers' faces. But I can't always do that because sometimes we have to work on the company, not in the company, right? Mm. And so uh, if I'm in the office, uh, you can just refer to me as a, a two thumbs up, uh, you know, uh, helper to, to the rest of the guys in the field. Because, look, you know, I know that whenever the technicians are in the field, and they are out there knocking on the customers' doors and, and fixing these complex machines, that they need everything they can to be able to do the job for the customer to make them happy. Right. And I can't fix air conditioners from, from the office. Right. You know? um, and so if I'm in the office, my job is to make sure they have whatever they need to make sure that customer is happy. And again, you know, my guys in the field, those, those are service success managers. Mm -hmm. And so they're, you're calling us out to, to service your air conditioner. And so the, our job is to make sure that you succeed in what you call us out for. And so that's why they're, they're out there doing that. And so I put them in as managers, and they call into me and say, this is what I need you to do to help me to make sure this customer is happy. Yeah, they take a lot of pride in their work working for my favorite. This, this is their favorite place to work. Absolutely. <laughs> yes, yes. It's very important. And, uh, you know, it's it's a culture thing. And some some people would would, would say that, you know, uh, culture is, is, is really hard. And how do you really define it and things of that nature? But I think culture is best defined whenever you start off by saying something as simple as empowering the employees to make sure that they able are, are able to do whatever it's necessary to to you know make sure the customer's happy mm -hmm. uh you know sonny moon dress i happen to know that guy yes <laughs> okay so i was talking to him the other day and he said you know sometimes you know whenever you're at, at disney world for example he, he says you know uh somebody sees the kid and they drop the ice cream cone and so Disney World says, I empower the employee to say, not only do I walk up to that child and I say, let me clean this up for you, but I say, stand right here, I'll get somebody to clean this up, and then I come back with an ice cream cone also, so they still have that ice cream cone. Yeah. So you, you fix the problem in more than one way. And that employee having the, the, the ability to do that 
is where you start to build culture. And that's what it's all about. That is what it's all about, man. And how blessed you are to work with Sonny Melendrez representing you here. Yes. Uh, with my favorite ser service company. He's one of my favorite people of all time yeah, in the history great. of man. Great, great, great guy to talk to just to, to sit and, and converse with. Uh, uh, so knowledgeable and, and such a fun guy to talk to. Absolutely. It's kind of a cliche that they say in a lot of industries there that well, we have the heart of a teacher when it comes to financial and all that kind of stuff and in your trades there too. But again, you invest in the training of your team and then you also invest in the, actually in the, your team then trains the customer yes. uh, as that goes. And I think the big difference is, is I think you put your money where your mouth is, Jacob, uh, with my favorite service company dot com uh, because you're doing this radio show and this podcast and this video that you're watching right now that I think you're the only guy out there this show's called trade secrets yeah so you're spilling the beans on this is how you do it yeah exactly exactly so it's not uh, it's not always talking about the bads but it's also talking about the the goods and you yeah know, it's uh, it's having the well, I'll just can I confess yeah. I'm I'm a moron I'm an idiot okay I don't know I know maybe how to change the filter yeah you know or the on and auto thing I don't think uh, fan and auto I still don't know how that works right I'm an idiot right it's just complete foreign to me okay so so how do you train the the customer yeah so start off and it's the answers to the questions you need to know you're supposed to ask right, right? and so um, we keep it as simple as possible and keeping it as simple as possible whenever the technician arrives at the home he's going to to introduce himself he's going to first lay down some some rubberized floor mats throughout the home to make sure that your home is protected he's gonna slip on his floor savers to make sure that your your home is protected in regards to that we're not tracking mud or dirt or or whatever through the home we want to make sure that that's that's taken care of because that's that's you know the the customers castle and we, we yeah. want that to be taken care of and protected after that, he's going to sit down, he's going to spend just a few minutes, and he's going to converse about the expectations uh, that he has while he's at the call and what your expectations would be at the calls. What are you, what are you expecting him to, to accomplish? What sounds have you been hearing? What's going on here? What's going on there? And he's going to make thorough notes. After he does that, he's going to pull out eight uh, different sensors. He's going to connect them to a computer system. And he's going to immediately start to monitor your air conditioning system. So you don't see the standard type of gauges and hand tools. We have those. We have to have those. But that's not how we start off in monitoring your air conditioner. And the reason why is because it's really neat. You're going to love this. The I'm system automatically will GPS tag and timestamp that <laughs> as soon as we start doing it. So it begins to generate a report. And so upon arrival, it tells us this is how your air conditioner is running. And it sends it to a cloud, the cloud saves it, and then it goes to a third party that verifies what we're seeing is correct and what we're saying is correct. And so you get a third party verification on what the diagnosis is, time stamped and GPS marked. Wow, that's called accountability. It's extremely, uh, extremely accountable. And what we do to, to, to make that a little bit simpler, because again, knowledge is power, perception is natural, and we need to make sure that the customer understands it before we can do anything else. Mm. And so in doing so, we're going to take a series of 13 different pictures, minimally the uh, technician is required to provide. It loads that into the iCloud also, and then we have those to present to you with a written report that, again, is third-party verified. And then every mark along the way is actually marked red, yellow, or green. So red would obviously say that there's something immediately that needs to be done. Sure. Yellow would say, hey, this is something to consider for the future. And green says, hey, thumbs up, everything is good here. And so it's a simple one to two page report that you'd see that tells you exactly how it's going. And this is again, third party verified for you, the homeowner. Every time? Every time, every service call, every <laughs> single time. We have no other way to do it. MyFavoriteServiceCompany.com is the website. The phone number is 830-212-4222. Let me say it again, 830-212-4222. Serving the Hill Country all over Central South Texas. Jake, do you go all over Texas? How far will you go? So, yeah, we actually have customers in, in the South Austin area. Uh, we service all the way over to, you know, LBJ Lake uh, area. Um, you know, obviously, we have to plan in advance for those things, bit. but uh, we love to serve our customers, and uh, sometimes they uh, require a higher level of service. They turn to us for that, and we're happy to take care of them. I want to go back and double down on something that we were talking about in the last segment here with uh, my favorite service company. You are first class all the way you are leading the way in, in your service you invest in your troops uh you you just your your 34 point 800 point inspection that you do whatever that that is uh and this third party uh accountability thing that i that was the word i use yes uh is is really phenomenal so talk about that again and then talk about my gosh this is a premium service 
I'm going to be paying a lot for this, right? Great question, but wrong gonna, answer. This, this, yeah, oh, good. <laughs> Yeah, so we uh, we do enjoy our premium service. Again, the, the, our number one goal is to make sure that customers are taken care of, they're satisfied, uh, and they're safe and they're comfortable. You know, and, and in doing so, we want to set the bar higher. So we set a higher level of standard uh, for ourselves. Uh, we we care the most about how we service our customers, uh, and and that's how we create uh, you know that that atmosphere that 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 thought of you know my favorite service company. And so in doing so. Yes, the, the service itself is a premium service, and it should come with a premium price. You know, two hundred twenty nine dollars is the retail cost for that service, um, but that's not what you charge. We, we charge. We we actually give it away complimentary with with every service call. And it again, is a, it was a no additional charge to you. And again, that's why it's my favorite service company already. You're just starting, but you're already my favorite. <laughs> I, I God bless you there. And speaking of God bless you, God bless America. It's the Fourth of July weekend. We celebrate the we fly the flag every day here on Bernie Radio, as you do with my favorite service company. I know that that means a lot to you. Yes, so very much. talk about America, your family, your boys. Boy, some handsome men in the, in your house. Yes, the future of the company is safe. <laughs> I'd like to hope. Uh, me too. Me too. <laughs> I would. I would love nothing more for them. You know. Yeah. I. I, I bring them to work with me as, as often as I can. Um, I enjoy having them uh, a part of it. I have three boys. I have uh, Waylon, the oldest. Uh, he's uh, soon to be fifteen, um, going on twenty-five. Exactly. <laughs> uh, I have Walker. Uh, excuse me, Wyatt in the middle. Uh, he's thirteen. Has his uh, voice changed yet? It's getting there. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, he's. Uh, he really enjoys going to work. Uh, he's he's rigging, you know, into the football and physical fitness and all that stuff right now. So, yeah, he's uh, he's going on, uh, I guess, you know, 16 or 17 at 13, uh, <laughs> as you well know. And then I have uh, Walker, the youngest one, uh, soon to be 10. Come on over here, my friend. He's the producer of the show. He did come on the, on the show with me today. Uh, and so, Walker, you want to say hello? Say hi to your friends. At, at, give a little shout out, you know. Come on, say hi, hi right man. quick. Say hey, I'm... <laughs> Hey, South Texas. So he's 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 shy. That's uh, all right. Give him ten minutes, and he would have the show taken over, well, right? Yeah. He's a behind the scenes guy. He makes it run there. Yeah. He did a good job with the slate. <laughs> action. He said action, and this wouldn't be happening without you. Thank you, Walker, for being on the show. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> That's cool. You know what? This this again is our first show. Uh, you brought your youngest son here. Uh, this is a moment I don't think he'll he'll forget for the rest of his life. I there too. I, I like to think that maybe I think I bet your sons are proud of you. You might be proud of them, but I think they're proud of you. You know, if we wake up every morning and we and we, and we you know thank the Lord above for the gift that we have to be above ground, and then we, and we yeah. look at the rest of our family and say, what can we do to make them proud? I think we can go to bed at night proud of ourselves. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, again, Fourth of July weekend. You got plans this weekend? Sure. Yeah, I plan to uh, uh, try to get away and take the boys uh, to the lake, uh, spend some time over there. So I've got uh, I've got the crew uh, on standby, um, and this holiday they're going to give me off. The next one they they they'll you know I'll yeah. give some of them off. And so yeah, we're going to go to uh, to the lake and enjoy some time over there. Probably do some barbecuing and uh, just relax as best we can and enjoy the time before uh, Monday morning we get back to it again. Well, in the spirit of my favorite service company, uh, I want to talk about some of your favorite things. I think grilling might be one of them. Sure. So, I, uh, I definitely enjoy barbecuing. Um, we, we, we do. Uh, you know, you talk about grilling. That's, that's a great question. You know, you have so many options today. You've got the, you know, a traditional wood burning uh, pit. Well, yeah, if you're, you know, if you're camping out in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> <laughs> I haven't burned wood in my <laughs> yeah in my backyard in a while. But some some people that's Dude. all they they'll work with, you know. And then you have the the pellet cookers now that are so popular. Oh, yeah, and they 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 say are so easy. Um, you've got you know a st traditional gas grill, all right? Um, and then you have a charcoal grill um, that you can use, uh, or you can just uh, stick inside. It's 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 cool and comfortable. Assuming that you've called my favorite service company <laughs> and, uh, and cook on the stove, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's your choice, but so many options out there today. And, you know, it's hard to really say, which, you know, would be my favorite. Um, but, uh, I am traditional when it comes to, to, to cooking and, and barbecuing. Uh, I like the, uh, the fire, um, oh, yeah. for, for several reasons, but uh, I'd have to say the, the one thing that the fire gives me is, is that, uh, that ending, uh, result that you can't do with some of the other ones with, uh, with as much fun. And that's pull out the, the marshmallows, oh, the chocolate yeah. and the, and the graham crackers and, and let the kids make spores. I have a feeling you're going to say that that's for the, <laughs> that's for the boys there, right? Yes, absolutely. Never me. I never sneak one in. So. But so, but I, I'm sorry, the name of the show is my favorite. Well, the name of the company is my favorite service company. So I'm, I'm going to 
force you here. Your favorite. Go. Wood. Wood, wood. burning. Done. Yes. All right. And But you're a pellet guy, too? I will cook on pellet. Uh, it certainly cooks a, a phenomenal steak. It's very easy, very quick, and very clean. Uh, and there's always uh, there's always a need for for a gas grill from time to time too. So I, you know, I like them all. But if you're going to make me choose one, it's uh, it's going to be wood. Uh, Jacob McBee here with my favorite service company. You're listening to Trade Secrets uh, here on Bernie Radio. Um, and 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 Jacob, uh, let's let's just put a bow on this thing. Uh, uh, just invite our listeners to give you a call. Sure. So the number to call is 830-412, excuse me, 830. That's your home number. You can't give out your home number. <laughs> yes, right. 830-212-4222. It's 830-212-4222. And the website is very simple. It's just uh, www.myfavoriteservicecompany.com. Very good. And just tell us again, why that name? How'd you come up with that name? The name, uh, you know, I wanted something simple. I wanted something uh, easy to remember. And, uh, you know, I went through, oh, you can imagine, hundreds and hundreds, hundreds of names. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, I had just so many different ideas. And my favorite just kept coming back to the top. And I thought that uh, with what I wanted to do as far as building the culture and everything else, uh, it would be a lot of fun for the guys also to say something like, you know, hey, where do you work at? Well, my favorite service company. Yeah, but where? Well, my, my favorite, favorite service thing. company. And so, uh, you know, it, it all starts with the employees because I employ the power, uh, empower the employees to serve the customers. Um, and, of course, you know, the, the employee out there in the field needs to take care of the customer. And so at the end of it, uh, I want customers to honestly be able to, to answer the question and feel, you know, comfortable and, and happy uh, when they answer it uh, with as much honesty as possible, saying, uh, you know, who do you call? And mm. their answer would be my favorite service company. I love it. My favorite. And it's very bold and very confident. And I have that same confidence. And as we say, I love Bernie all the time here on Bernie Radio, we say my favorite service company is my favorite service company. Right. It's already on my lips. I love it. Myfavoritservicecompany.com. And I say congratulations on show number one. Thanks, Baron. Awesome. Thank you for listening uh, to Trade Secrets with Jacob McBee. I'm Baron Wiley, and thank you for uh, watching and listening uh, to my favorite service company's first show right here on Virgin Media. <laughs>